So the first thing you want to do is you want to go to the um, the Vue.js website, and I'm uh, down by the CLI installation page, so guide, installation, and I'm down by the CLI section. So the first thing you want to do is you want to open up your um, command line uh, interface. So I have this here, and uh, in, open it up in a, a, a admin with administration privileges, because um, that's good. Uh, and uh, the first thing you actually want to do is not what's listed here, but the first thing you want to do is you want to install Node.js. You want to go to Node.js, and you want to download it and install it. This will, uh, if you click on this, um, if you're on Mac, it will obviously uh, go to, uh, detect Mac and go to the Mac page. Um, else, just uh, download whatever uh, it shows up, or download whatever version you need. And uh, it should download an MSI executable file. And uh, after you run that, you should be able to do something like this. If you go back to um, your um, command line interface, you go to uh, node-v. And it says, I have version 6.9.2 installed. Um, also, uh, so if after you installed um, Node.js, that's what uh, shows when you type that command in. And um, next, you want to make sure you have PHP installed. For that, I have uh, XAMPP. So I'm going to um, open up XAMPP, and I'm going to start Apache. I don't think you need to start up uh, MySQL, but I'm just going to do that anyways. So I'm going to close that. And you want to make sure uh, your localhost port 8080, 8080 is cleared, because that's the um, port that VGS installs by default. Why? I don't know, but that's just is. So if you have something on port um, 8080, um, VGS is not going to install properly and it's going to uh, give you a error when you run the npm run dev command. So make sure, uh, so the way to do that is by checking, um, you can go in your command line uh, prompt, you can type in uh, netstat, um, netstat anob, and this will give this. Um, table. So what you can do here is um, in the foreign addresses, this is the, there's two variables, there's the PID and then the foreign address. So you want to check under foreign address, you want to check for port 8080, localhost port 8080, and under process ID, you want to check which process ID it is in case it is occupied. Right now I don't have anything on 8080, but if I did, it would show up somewhere down below, all the way down below here. And it would say somewhere here on um, port 8080. Uh, being used. If I actually if I lengthen this and type that again. So right now I have um, these are IP addresses and under here it, it will say 8080. Right now I don't have anything under 8080 so it's good. So there's like there's like port 2103, port 1081, port 623. So these are all ports that are uh, listening here in this case and these are the process IDs. If um, if this um, if the port is being used, you want what you want to do is go to command line uh, command task manager. So control command uh, control command delete, and in your task manager you want to go to services, and here there's the PID, and uh, if um, you want to go to the PID that matches. So for example here, uh, port 8, I don't know what this is, but it, uh, but port 1801 uses um, uh, two, uh, it, it has a PID of process ID of 2044. So if I go here, I, I could go to process 244. So it's a message queuing. I don't know what that is, but I could um, right click and stop that. I'm not going to, but if that was the process ID for something on port 8080, that's how you would um, uh, you would free up port, uh, free up localhost 8080 so that Vue.js can install on your local machine uh, successfully. So that's something I'm not going to do right now because I already cleared it up. But just keep that in mind. So uh, the first thing you want to do after you install Vue.js and PHP or XAMPP or WAMP or MAMP on your computer is you want to type this code in: uh, npm install global view CLI. So what this does is it installs the um, the view CLI uh, and Node package man uh, Node package manager globally on your computer, so it can use it anywhere. You can use you can do it without global, but it only installs on the local folder you are in. So I would recommend I would definitely recommend using the global. Um, I already did that, so I'm not going to do that. But if you did, it will be npm install global views CLI. 
it will be like that. I'm not going to because I already did, but that's the command that you would use. Next, you want to go to your folder that you want to create the um, project in. So I'm going to go to my folder. So CD uh, C. Docs, sites, um, Vue.js, whoops, cd, ht docs, cd, wait a second, what's going on here? Oh, right, CD ZAMP. CD ZAMP, HT Docs, Sites, UJS. So I have a folder, oops, it's not working. CD ZAMP, CD HT Docs, CD Sites, and uh, let's see, CD, I think it was, um, let's see what folder I had it in. UJS, I think it was this one, CD Sites, VGS. So CD VGS. There you go. So I'm going to um, create a CD. Uh, I'm, I'm going to put this command in. So you want to go view in it. Webpack is what's going to allow you to do something called hot loading so that you don't have to save your JS files every single time to see if your VGS um, application is updated in your browser. So as soon as you save your file with the Webpack, as soon as you save your file in your um, IDE or your text editor, it's going to uh, update the Vue.js uh, Vue application immediately. Um, so that's uh, really convenient for um, development. And then my project is simply your uh, project name. So let's go to your, your folder name that you want this to be installed in. So I want, I'm just going to call it project 8. So I'm going to go back to my uh, command line prompt and then I'm going to say View init webpack project 8. And that should do it. So if I go back here, project 8 should pop up. Oh, right. So you want to, it asks you a bunch of questions. So I'm just going to say yes to all of them project name, project 8, yes, project description, VGS project, yes, um, author, Simon, that's my email, yes, um, runtime, everything. I'm just going to say yes, use lint. You don't have to say yes, but I actually don't know what this is so I'm just gonna say yes uh, so I'm just gonna say yes yes it all seems to work and then this is gonna show up so after this shows up it means that the web um, pack has successfully uh, installed the npm has successfully installed so you want to do control C you want to exit out of this so you can install the next com uh, command prompt lines so control C and then you want to um, CD into the project change directory into the project so CD project 8 and now if you go back to your files and folders in project 8 you have all these files up so right now if you go to localhost 8080 it's not going to work so localhost localhost 8080 nothing shows and then i'm going to show you um if you go to if you go to uh config and you go to um i believe i believe dev js dev.nv.js or I can I can check this out let's see so I'm just opening up my atom editor so if I go into atom it's not this file it's um I'm going to open up the folder project 8 exit out of this one and then go back here so it should be under uh, let's see it's not this one not this one it's it's 
So here I believe um, dev server, let's see. See, it's, so it's index.js. So index.js, it says port 8080, so you can change which port it installs on. Um, right now we're gonna keep it at 8080. So we're going to um, we're going to go back here and let's say uh, we cd'd into the project. So we have to type in N npm install. So let's do that. npm install. And that takes a little time. So I'm just going to check something out here. So in index, so it should open on 8080. So let's uh let's actually change this to. Um, 9222 just arbitrary nothing uh nothing special about that um port let's change that to 9222 so let's see if it installs a nine, local host 9222 all right so let's uh we have to wait this takes a while um so it takes roughly a minute i believe a full minute once this installs, I'll show you how to do the um, hot reloading in Vue.js. But uh, the reason why I'm doing this tutorial is because um, a lot of people, you, you can install Vue.js using the script source link, but if you want faster load times on your la application live launch and you want um, speedier uh, load times, this is how you want to uh, install your node packages and install your um, uh, uh, files for Vue.js so that the, compi the compiling part doesn't happen every single time someone goes to your website for uh, using the, for your website that uses a VGS application. So that's why I want to install this way for um, for launch. And it takes a lot of time. So um, as you can see, it does take quite a bit of time. We have to wait this out. Okay, now I think it's almost done. So the final step after that is done is you have to just run npm run dev and that runs. Um, you can also, instead of using npm, you can use uh, uh, services like Yarn, which Facebook and Google uses, but I'm going to stick with npm because it's a more tried and tested true method. And uh, we just got to wait for um, this to pop up. So this is actually how long it takes. All right, I'm going to um, speed up the video so that you can watch it once it completes. All right, guys, so um, the installation for npm install has completed. So the last step we have is just run npm run dev. So I'm going to go back and type in npm run dev. And that should open up a new browser with localhost um, 9222 with uh, the VGS hot loading installed. So I'll let's see if that happens. All right, it's going to localhost 922, and of course you can change it back to localhost 8080. Um, it's just that I had, um, when I was practicing installing this, I had something on 8080 and I couldn't figure it out. So make sure that the port you're using is free, and if it's not free, use the method I showed you how to go into that file and change the port. So here we go. So we have welcome uh, to your VGS app, and I'm just going to show you hot loading features. So what hot loading is, is if you go to um, source, components, hello, and then I'm going to go down here and where it says, uh, I'm just going down to where it says, welcome to your VGS app. So that's the message. I could change that to blank and then just hit control S save and it automatically updates it. So if I delete this, you've installed VGS, yay. Bye. Uh, save that. There you go. So that's how you do uh, a VGS installation using the CLI method. Control um, prompt interface. Uh, control command line interface method. So I hope you guys enjoy this tutorial, uh, tutorial, and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks. Bye.